Welcome back to another crypto video. Hello, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing great. It's another Jacob Crypto Burry video today. We're going to look at Phantom. We've got some really good news to look at. So stick around for this video if you're a Phantom fan or if you're just learning about what these layer one infrastructure projects are. Phantom is one of our big ones in the space. And yeah, let's unfold some news as to why we've seen Phantom pump recently. And also look at this great news right here. We can see Ukraine President Zelensky signs bill legalizing cryptocurrency market. So following in the footsteps of like, you know, El Salvador and other things, but mainly I think this was catalyzed through the unfortunate geopolitical events such as the war. We can see the bill on virtual assets was initially de developed as a joint effort from Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation and Industry Representatives. Last month, the Ukraine le legislator considered and passed the bill. With Zelensky's signature, the bill is not law. So right over here on our virtual assets, it's Ukraine's first step towards establishing a legal market for cryptocurrency. The bill seeks to determine the legality of cryptocurrency, establish a regulatory scheme and create conditions for further formation of the legal cryptocurrency market. So overall, this is extremely good news for the whole of the crypto market. And if we can sign off this amazing legislation um, and legalize it in Ukraine, many other countries in Europe and other areas are going to follow because this is global uh, news as well. So yeah, really, really nice to see this particular activity. I think this is going to have a great effect on cryptocurrency in the long run. I don't know if this is 100% legit or not. Found it on a news channel, thought it could be. So this is Phantom as well. As well, we can see on uh, Twitter right here, the Phantom Foundation snap back to reality. Phantom's snap sync upgrade can begin rolling out on the mainnet. So the test net nodes achieve 90% reduction in total storage. Um, so even more efficient, as we can see, lots of retweets here, upcoming Phantom protocol upgrades. And we can see here on their blog that they have a lot of upcoming upgrades on the protocol. And this is a little roadmap for you to follow. They've got SnapSync, implementation of Pebble DB and RAID, and loads of other things that I don't understand, I'll be completely honest with you. So yeah, really, really cool. Keep an eye on those announcements because those news can be good catalysts to price activity. Phantom, total value locked. Well, it's not quite as high as it was back over here, you know, when we had like $13 billion, when we also had $14 billion. We've seen a little bit of liquidation, but we seem to also be holding at a fair value in terms of the total value locked at around this 8.35 billion mark. So it's definitely not an alarming area to be in. We've still got all this total value locked from yield, from borrowing, staking, and many other kind of platforms over there. And the crypto bubbles, I mean, look at this. Crypto is doing great today. No reason to be feeling fearful, even though we're in the middle of a war. Like, Ape is bright red, and I'm absolutely glad. I hope people lost money through greed. Not even ashamed to say it. Um, Ape right here, pumping really nicely because of the V3 launch. GRT doing really good. We've got Mina, whatever that is. Maybe we'll have to look what that, what that is. We've got Rune up 48%. Wow. So we got some really strong coins um, in the market doing very well. We can see Fear and Greed Index is also just 28 at the moment. So we're looking pretty neutral in terms of what's going on in the market. So let's have a little look and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here, ladies and gents. Also hop into that Discord channel down below whilst it's still free as I'd love to see you there. And I think even other people would too. So Phantom is $1.34 trading at rank 41 with a 3.35 billion market cap. And if you look at the trading volume, it's literally around 25% of the entire market cap. So it's so heavily traded, this particular coin. Lots of juicy volume. And we can see we just found that low just above that September low at $0.97. And it looks like you're getting this wave of euphoria, retracement, euphoria, retracement. And yeah, it looks like potentially this could be in the bottom and maybe we're gonna start getting this reversal pattern all the way to the upside now. So here is Phantom on my particular charts and we can see really all the red lines are highlighting big resistance areas. So we come back down to our strong accumulation range, which is where this rectangle is. I'm gonna try and change the color to make it a bit easier to see. So that rectangle indicates a key accumulation area. And it does look like when you buy in this accumulation zone from time to time again, between $1.8, between $1.36, usually it's a good dollar cost averaging zone to prepare for the next impulse 
or pump to the upside. And right here, we have definitely put through some kind of head and shoulders pattern. You can see here, left head, uh, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And maybe that's also got something to do with why we pumped to the upside. We didn't come down to $0.95 on the support. We did break back through the $1.15 resistance, which is now flipped into a support level. And now we're targeting that $1.35. So I think it's very possible that we can start keeping this momentum to the upside. And maybe we're going to even tackle that $1.64 level in the near future. So yeah, back on the daily time frame. We're still underextended on the 20 day moving average, which is this orange line right here. Probably going to change that color because I think it's quite difficult to see. What do we think? What do we think? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I can never choose a color. Let's go light green. So light green, that's our 20 day moving average. We're still underneath it. So effectively, it doesn't signify a huge uh, uptrend just yet because we fell out that rising wedge and that's where we lost our 20 day EMA. And now um, we really wanna get through this $1.35 resistance, which should be absolutely vital. If we do get a Fib extension and take it from this swing high to swing low, we can see that the golden target actually is $1.64 as well, which is just where I've written in that key level of resistance. So $1.64, really, really crucial. If you can break through $1.35, Things will also be looking really good. On the MACD, we've got that bullish crossover, guys. And um, I'm actually seeing no bearish or bullish divergences as you see the price comes down here. Um, and I think actually we're in a good place for Phantom. Good place. Of course, we can come down, get rejected. We can still come back down to these lower supports, such as $1.16. But if the market keeps pulling and everything keeps on moving forward slowly, I think uh, we're in a good place. This looks like a supply zone, very similar to here. If we do get our info line, I mean, look, 18 days stuck in this lull. And then right here as well, so far it's only been 11 days. It feels like a lifetime, but it's only been 11 days stuck in this range where we're really, really low priced. If we go to the weekly as well, the RSI, interestingly enough, the RSI doesn't really like coming down below 47. For this particular project and you can see it's just a cycle of waves so maybe maybe the data is suggesting that we are due at least coming up a little bit on the rsi as you see here on the weekly time frame rsi i would still anticipate there is going to be a pump to the upside so this rsi can come like this maybe come back down so this is all speculation but wouldn't you rely on these key areas of data to help you jot and predict the future because I think that looks more likely than you know collapsing all the way down. We've also got our first white candle on on the red time frame, which could also signify a reversal pattern is about to take place for Phantom. What else can we look at? We can look at the double top here that we produce and we actually failed to break down below the neckline. And we can also use this as now getting a new accurate price on the next potential level. So after price discovery, we can actually come to $3.78 on the 1.414. We can come to $4.49. Just make these a bit bigger. And the golden fib target would actually be $4.97 right there. So $5 phantom target for by 2025. Let's not say 2022, but by 2025, we could probably imagine $5 is actually a very key price to look at. So that's probably a wrap for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. Huge thanks to my patrons, Cara, Lion, AU, Jordan, Dazne, Ali. Um, if you want to be a patron, literally the price for coffee, you're going to get premium Discord access. You'll receive this ebook right here and much more to come, such as giveaways, one on one messaging, too. So hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe if you're new. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye now.